see you and your men. We're welcome here in that place. Openly. Come on in. Good. How was the travel? <laughs> Are you well? Yeah, hold it, hold it. Oh, 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 fucking oh, ass is freezing oh. off. I think. Uh. Yeah. Captain. Hi. These are friends. Hi, they are reinforcements. Son of Lord Evan, the bastard child of one of the most notorious and cruel houses here in Ireland. So. I'm sorry. I We're okay. Shouldn't be you. What, was, what was that? What was it? <sighs> Reinforcements. What of good luck. Reinforcements? From where? What? I don't know. They had our line colors. Oh my god. Didn't they, they bring reinforcements? I don't know. Cat, um. I'm sorry, Kyla. I don't mean to be a bother. No, you're not. <laughs> it's just been a... Never. I need... You know, things are rough. Of hours. And what I'm asking for you isn't yes. fair. But in no, regards to Sarah, I need fine. you to... If she's... In, well, everyone's incredibly on edge. And the difference between you and her is that she will do something to hurt people. Right. So suppress it. I'll... If you can. Don't give her a reason. We talked about this. Right. Sorry, she and I, I made a deal. It's okay. I know. I have to apologize. I know. <sighs> okay. Right. I, uh, yes. She just... I don't understand what goes through her head sometimes. Neither do I. It's confusing. She has her way of looking through things. I don't know. Thank you. Oh. Um, Make a attempt to keep the peace. Just it's gonna a try lot and beat you. Everything going on. I realize I yeah, I didn't uh, think about that. That's right. 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 Uh, I'll be okay. I just uh, need to think about a lot of things. I. Honestly, didn't even think I'd see the light of day. Well. You said you would. <laughs> yes. I did. <sighs> I'm glad Arn's alive. Everyone made it. And you got a plus one. So that not to think about that. As much as I hate to admit it, Sarah is correct. Him being I here know. is is a problem. But on being here is a problem. We can't pick and choose, I suppose. Yes. On is Yeah. I'm glad you're okay. At the least. Right, yeah, I, uh... I guess I... I'm glad everyone's okay. For the most part. I don't have much time. Sarah's right, they'll be here by nightfall. We can doubt we stop them that much. I don't know. They were... <laughs> I have no idea how we're supposed to fight them, Kyla. They not only have Inquisitors, they have... an entire Imperial army. With plate mail and... armored horses and... I don't know, other things... aren't said. I don't understand. Those... loud crossbows... I don't know. <sighs> yeah. 
have to do what we can to hold out. Yeah, I don't know. This isn't my thing. I know nothing about strategy or anything like that. I don't know either. As soon as things got chaotic at that Imperial camp, my mind just went blank and I there was no sense of strategy there. Would panic. Well it was it was relatively calm until until I saw Terry I'm just confused now. Still have on sword. Me. Yes. Hmm. Been reforged, but. Good. Why is that? It's a good sword. It's the best. That's what you said. I believe it. <laughs> You've come a long ways. You have. Me. Yeah. You were just a servant boy when I first met you. You're not a servant boy anymore. I don't know what I am, but. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> don't quite feel like a barmaid anymore either. What? Fuck. He does this sometimes. Speaks? She can speak. Ah, ah, strong. It's one of her favorite words. Oh, is she okay? She always tries to be strong for. Oh, God, no. Lisa. Please, please. It's okay. She has these panic attacks sometimes. I don't know if she freaks out. You need to be strong. Strong for Risa, strong for everyone. She. Give me the food. She has these, some kind of. I don't know. Where she, it, it doesn't seem like she's there anymore. She's like in a different world. Somewhere else. Flashbacks or something. I don't know. Lisa, it's all right. It's all right. Everything's okay. Oh, yeah. Just breathe. Yeah. You all right? It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Thank you for finding some place quiet for me to get my bearings. Of course. I was. <laughs> yeah, I was running on, adre on adrenaline. It's been a crazy past couple of days. It has. Anyways, um, Lisa, come on, let's get you back to the tavern. Be alright. <clears throat> all right. <clears throat> Are you good? You're good. All right. We're strong. We're strong. We'll be strong for others. Right. Yes. Come on. <laughs> We've got this. Let's go. I've got some people to see, but I'll see you around. 
Let me know if you need me, okay? Right. I'll see you around. I should probably apologize to people as well. Hmm. Come on, Lisa. Dishonoring is legal in this insurmountable arm. And again, we all know that sometimes it's likely a day. When you are called to, you are to stand with Ledford, and you are to be stationed in the garrison here shortly. You are to take orders from myself and my sergeant. And you will not leave your post unless told to. There's no other possible fucking way you could get me any crossbow bolts, even if I paid you for them. At the moment, no. Not with our current situation. They are needed. How long do I have to stand with this garrison shit? You join the militia, you join the militia until we don't need you anymore. Fuck that. Thanks anyway, I guess. Hmm. Oh. They holding up. What's a fucking drow gotta do to get some crossbow bolts around here? <laughs> I can think of one thing. I start stealing them! Would have been a shame! That'll make it even harder to get them in the first place. Steal them and they put clamps on you. I'm gonna steal your heart! You've got them all shy now, Sarah. I'm blushing. You could let me into the barracks to just have a little look see around. Doesn't stop, does she? She's too bold for her own good. I dare to see what people plan to do when those inquisitors come back. Worry. Is it? Mm. Maybe fools come back with the small amount of men that they have. Well, why did we let him get away in the first place then? We're generous, and we have people to tend to. Oh, sort things out. If you act without thinking. There's more harm that can be done. Yeah, that's a good point. You've already given me an apple, which is more than enough. Sorry, I'm late. Surprise! One apple is you know how much Not shit someone's dead comes back to life. You're causing us by being here, Eric. I am not even sure that I get enough energy for myself to like him. eBay is making no difference, Scott. They were going to kill me by... I know. No, no, I didn't think it was the case. I usually tend to eat Just having a sit doesn't... Nice. Mm-hmm. Well, you're here now, so... Believe me. I guess we could use your sword. Right? I still have my left hand, so I suppose we do something. Except Mr. Plan if he stays in bed for a little bit. I got this one broken as they were busting out. What did you do that for? Well, I hope you're ambidextrous. Look at him, he's malnourished right now. You're going to you're going to mount to groan it. Say again. Cat hand nice. You're going to groan, but I know. Trina handed me my sword. Oh, and had it back. Uh, I didn't know which way the door opened. So I had to do the only thing I could. And Hold actually, on, madam, you want me to, um, to help you guide your way out of the door? If you are part of the militia, you are to head to the fort as quickly as you can. No delay. No, please! What's happening? He's been doing oh, really great. well with that sword as well. It's a shame to give it back to you. You're not worried too much, madam. You should tell that to her. One. Let me lead you out of the door. Handed it back, so. One last. And I definitely didn't have the energy to do much more than run. That man cried over there. Right. When next he was well, welcome back to Ledford. Things are still shit. Enjoy your stay. Yes. 
Welcome. Thank you for adding back to the amount of shit. What's that for? No ordinary apple. It's a Bavarian apple. Sour on the first bite, but sweet on the next, and always fresh. Oh, man to kill. I've heard of the Bavarian before. Thank you. Might as well kiss. I've been back close. Well, talk to you about it later. Apparently, I'm your property. When did that happen? Why wasn't I told? <sighs> My goodness. Well, it was going to be a surprise. Yeah, it happens. It was going to be a surprise, but I suppose it's ruined. Well, not your sister, but your drowser. Mm -hmm. He's the one I got the idea from. She'll get it. Surprise. She what? Good luck with that. Why does she have my sword? Cat. There you are. There you are. I assume someone gave it to her. I don't her. think she would ever want anything of mine. There you are. I don't know. You'd have to ask her. But she's been uh been doing well with it. I've been trying to keep her safe as best I could. I need to speak to Arn. Rest up. Looks like a war to fight. Two again. Thing. Do you know why they were there? Who were there? I have a very hard time believing that it had anything to do with me. <sighs> why were they in Dawnshire? Rest up, Terek. I have no idea that you were there. I don't think anybody did. I mean, it's assumed you were dead. Mm. Hey now, you are just waking up from your wounds. Your wounds may still be there, but... You're in that state of going on full recovery. Come It'll take a couple of days before no you moment, get you? healed well enough to actually breathe properly. Uh, He came back. That's blood. Say again. I told you that I would. <laughs> Didn't doubt you for a second. Full of shit. <laughs> I doubted you a lot, but I'm glad you're back. I, um... God. <coughs> How ready are you for bad news? Um, I asked around with people that went with you. Um, a skull uh, was captured as everyone was leaving, from what I understand. I'm sorry. I see. Tried to write back for him. Too many Imperials in the scene. Ahead of us on the road. God. Hmm. 
I'm sorry. Shut punk. The only person I found was Cap. Dragged back to their camp. And I just arrived by and put her up to my horse. Saving her. I went back for her skull. You've only ever spoken highly of him. He's my last friend. My last loyal man. And I let him to his doom. They retrieve. Can I look? Yeah. Back soon. Yeah. I love you, Dad.
Don't let him run off. <clears throat> you know what he's like. Baylor, have you seen Mirandel around? Mm. Oh, never mind. Uh, uh, was last seen at the fort. <laughs> Mirandel. Mirandel. Yes. I need to speak to you. I need to retrieve my spear. Um, awake. Yeah. He's very sore and very tired. Where are the boats? I need to get some for myself and my drive. Sergeant, mm. is there any chance I can requisition? I know the captain said we might be able to requisition some armor. Is there any chance I can get a kettle helmet? I would speak with him about that. Well, I've only been told to hand out spears, boats, and bolts and crossbows. I'll talk to him. Like that. Go on. If you've been stationed at the fort, then be good stationed at the fort. Alright, quickly, Kyla, I don't have much time. Yeah. And my sword is gone. <laughs> Let me make sure I have it. I don't know how long he's going to be conscious for, so... I'll take care of the fort. Fort. To go in the ships. Alright, nice. <laughs> it's all built now. You need me on. Fuzzy. And that fuzzy. I'm gonna bring you some food. 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 The captain has them. I understand. Do they replace the guards with their own men? Pressed on them from their camp. They ordered all the ninja to the village of the fort. Oh, not what they are. Going to shift. Yes, I know of him as well. I understand he's looking for you. I've recovered somewhere. He won't get you. They want me back. So. At this point, it's it's a moot point, huh? Behind you, over, we have one less capable commander maintaining the militia. We know that they plan to invade. There's no, not even a shadow of a doubt.
Mirindo. Does it have anything to do with, with the black powder weapons that the dwarves said that the Empire had? Those metal rods that seem to shoot out fire that they wield or something. <sighs> a larger form of fight. <sighs> In that case, we at least can know that some, if not all, of their black powder weapons are disabled. Or at least there. We did well. Say no more. I'm sorry, I was With any luck, maybe they'll have him in tow. And once we break at this siege, they're going to burn them at the stake. The Inquisitor will have their way. You did well. We will prepare as best we can. Oh no, he died. Well, And we crashed. Are we still live, team? Hello? <laughs> we can hear you, you idiot. Oh. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Okay, so. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, he put it in the wrong spot. He put it right here. Where the hole is, idiot. That's where you put it. We're gonna hang it precariously on a piece of string. I'd like to play a game. <laughs> yes, Miss Dryad, I would. I've been practicing the form of sleepy. Unsafe. He'll live.
I do apologize. Squatting. You're squatting so low there. I think I heard oh, something. Hey, squat. Fine if I grab some bread, I can just leave the coins here. Save you a bit Just something small then. How much? Well, a meal's worth is sixteen, but if you're not going for the full meal. I suppose we could charge as much as the bread. And I'll just give you as much as that's worth. Okay, thank you. Hardly we're out of oranges. It's okay, it is winter after all. Appreciate it. Mm. Good fortune, Kyler. <laughs> you too. It's fucking yogurt time. Myself a fucking drink too, because I am exhausted. <sighs> Man, I didn't want to play. I was going to take it and eat it outside. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Asshole. Calling it something? <laughs> sure. All right. <clears throat> hey, holding up, chat. <sighs> yeah, liking it so far. Yeah, Kyle's got to process a few things. <clears throat> huh.
it's so funny, like, it's his, like, one of his minors is that he can fucking, he's really good at stealth. But just because of the way his model is made, he is good at stealth because he just kind of blends in with shit. Put a fog lamp on cover. Like a flashing light that that blips. <coughs> Beep. My body is rejecting the yogurt. It's like, no, I don't want to eat. Please, don't make me eat. Fucking fuck. <sighs> oh. <laughs> oh, come on, don't do this. Ah. Perfect. 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 All right. <clears throat> You guys want to know something really cool? <clears throat> Kylan never paid for his fucking cloak. <clears throat> The guard just let him in and fucking take it. So he did. And I doubt Vestil's even gonna be like, <laughs> what happened to it? So. Man, I'm fucking tired, dude. I only got four hours last night. I wanna crash so bad right now. Hasn't got the fucking cat back. <clears throat> he's investigated, he's asked basically everyone he came in contact with. No one's seen it, so he's got no idea.
Splotches is the Imperial spy. God damn it, I knew it. Splotches murdered <laughs> the cat. Took its place. Is now the Imperial spy. I knew it. <sighs> Fuck my stomach, please. Just accept the yogurt. <clears throat> Out for a walk? I was just eating. He seemed to be wandering around aimlessly. Me? Hmm. Yeah, uh, you're wandering around aimlessly? You. I was up there. Oh, me. I was going to say, what? Eating food. Right, no, I'm actually, uh. Just going to train with. Aegon, actually, he offered. Hmm? Would you like to join us? He's good with the sword, apparently. Ugh. Very good. <sighs> yeah, I suppose. I got nothing better to do. Might as well, right? How are you? <laughs> better. <sighs> Managed to... slow down the thoughts, the... everything. Apologize to Arn for what it's worth. I still feel guilty for being the one who was saved, but <clears throat> <sighs> can't do anything about it now, so I just have to look forward and keep working, keep training, get stronger, and hopefully make it worth it. I'm nothing like Haskell, but I can at least make an effort to try. That's all that matters. How are you? Yeah, doesn't matter, does it? I'll be okay. It does. Will you? I don't have any option. So you will be okay, but you aren't okay now. What's going on? It's a lot of my mind, I suppose. What are you thinking about? Helps talk about it, but perhaps we should sword fight a little bit first, and then we can talk afterwards. Sometimes swinging a sword is the best <clears throat> answer. I suppose so. But talking is also yes. good. Swinging a weapon is a good way to clear the mind, grant clarity, but not always. Some things are so deep rooted that you need to pull them up a different way. Um, yes. No, Might feeling. as well try the sword first. <coughs> maybe talk about it later. Shall we? Is it okay if Kyla joins us? He's been learning with the sword. <sighs> Let me take a drink from my canteen. Uh, just the basics by Arn. Basic blockings. That's it. My style isn't very, uh, confrontational. So this is all new to me. Not much technique to how I really Neither do things. I don't <clears throat> to attack things that don't see me coming, but I'm exactly. always ready for when it does see me. That's where I fall short. I'm really good at getting the jump on people and taking them out when I need to, but when it comes into a one-on-one, -on -one, face-to-face sword fight, that's where I lack. I'm a man with dual wielding blades. I can take on more than one person, but it's <clears> not <throat> easy, especially if they're armored. Mm -hmm. That's when you start severing tendons at the legs and the arms. Mm -hmm. Make them just useless bodies. <clears throat> oh, mermaid, whatever that is. Mermaids are real. No, they're real. Unicorns are real, then maybe mermaids will be. Mermaids are 100% real. I heard them from a ship captain in Gradia. You may have to restart VR chat for that one. That's... Fucky. No? That's a secret. It stops registering one of them, even though Steam VR does. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to turn everything off. I'm back on again. 
That is the best course of action yet. I'm sorry. I failed you. Can't fucking believe you. This is how the Empire kills us. We all lose <laughs> tracking. Oh. The mermaids are coming. <laughs> on land? Where they sw walk yes. on wheeled tubs? Have buckets, they hop in them. <laughs> exactly. They're fish from the waist down. That's going to be very difficult. <clears throat> it's not like walking on two toes. You know when you like roll a barrel like that? Haha. -ha. No. Oh, how'd you do it? <laughs> I turned it all off and on again. I did I that. IT. Anyways, whatever IT is, let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> I too worked in it. It is, but. I too worked in it. Magical thing. <clears throat> All right, shall we? Yes. So you know the basics. So my style is a little different than others. I'm not we both are, I guess, familiar with the basics. Do you want to start with the basics, or shall we? I guess. Move on to more adept skills. How about we start with my approach to things? Hmm. Of course. Hmm. We do right. seem more up our alley in terms of techniques. Everyone who's taught me, at least, has always been very... Uh, I don't know, knight-like. Yes. Chivalric, honorful way of fighting, not too happy about it. Agreed. I prefer honorless and effective. Hmm. Yes. Not everyone fights with honor, especially not creatures <coughs> such as orcs, for example. <laughs> but. Alright. Dual wielding blades is a very, very, very artisan way of fighting. Not everyone's good at it, and it's very difficult to learn forever. There's a certain way of a mindset to go about using them. Think of it as not using two blades at one time, but when you're using one or over the other in combat, think of it as just wielding the one. Mm. It requires a lot of switching of focus between which hand you're using. Whether it be parrying blades, it's difficult with a blade like this, but that's why you always have crossing. Your primary weapon should always be the longer blade. Daggers, never the focus. Especially if you're fighting a person who is very aware of you. Otherwise, perfect for the job. Now, facing somebody with a sword and nothing else, no shield, is simple. You work with parrying, driving their blade with your primary, and stabbing them with the other one. <clears throat> Attacker. They come at you, sword in hand, forward strike with that. You always get your blade up like this. For whichever position they come at you from, either side, or it be left, right, up, above, below. Never let them drive their blade into you, so you want to drive it away. Any the direction that's away from you. But always have the dagger ready to slip away from the other blade. Right. Because how short it is, that would be fairly simple. He will not have such a good time sliding his blade away from yours because it is longer. It takes him more time. The dagger slipping away quickly allows you to stab him over and over before he gets another rebuttal in. <laughs> now, as for a shield, that is where it is tricky. You have to be careful. People who use shields are often the most offensive. They're afraid of getting stabbed. But they will not hesitate to stab you back if they think they have an opening. Which is why you try not to give them any at all. The shield will be a problem. But the blade is the biggest issue. You focus on the shield too much and the blade will strike through your stomach up to your rib cage, And before you even know it, your throat. So do not forget about the sword. Blade, mace, whatever it is that they have in their primary hand. The way around a shield <coughs> and a weapon is simple. If you can get that weapon at disarray, or perhaps even a shield, if you're lucky to do so anyway, 
You must always go to the ledge. They can block everything. Now, if they have a tower shield, that's a different story. But well, we'll get to that in a moment. If they have a regular shield, focus on the blade. Stop the blade from striking you. Back away if the shield gets too close. And if you can, sweep legs. Cut out legs. They have very little will to move their legs. They can't stand up. Then they're basically just a turtle. And you can stop them right out of their shell after that. No. Disarming is very difficult, but if you can do it, tire someone out. Disarming is but a charm. On to my approach to things. I adhere to a lot of different styles using my feet as well as my blade. Mm. You've seen it in combat, I'm sure. Mm. Back when we're mostly. I very much prefer to strike someone and then kick them off. Mm. If they have the better of me, they will not expect me to use my feet. Now, pairing of a boot is a lot harder than pairing a blade. Some will disagree. Just cut it off. Well, that's if you expect it. If you feel like you have someone in disarray and your blades are not available, parry a blade, sweep the leg. Or, alternatively, parry the blade, kick them back, and then bunch thrust. There was a, a man who was good at deal wielding back in Gradia that I met. He told me how to do this. Before then, it was only the sword. <sighs> Picked this up when I was out there. <laughs> Practice envisioning that against the combatant for a few moments. Using your feet. Think of how I want to utilize your feet in your combat. Your stance is one thing. I usually prefer to have the dagger first. Longer blade behind. That is so because it makes it easy to parry, to interlock, and then shove underneath. Now sometimes, if my dagger I think is solid enough, I try to bring the blade down to my guard. Even dismember arms if I have to. Sometimes I go for the throat with the dagger. I usually you want to go for the heart. I'll need you. We're gonna go speak to Felgris now. So do as you can, please, sir. Understood. Who is that man? Interesting. He's the one that arrived with all the reinforcements. <clears throat> Some noble. Well, good that we have reinforcements, I guess. I would assume if he's leading them like he that. He looks like one. Mm-hmm. Anyhow. Usually I prefer this stance, but it is not hard to do a stance like this, or even like this. This stance is welcoming the attack. This stance is welcoming a counter. Sometimes people like to counter your blade. You are never, ever immune to someone trying to parry you. You must be ready for that. If they parry your blade, if you're expecting them to do it, let them do it. Because they parry one blade. Jab their arm or go for a vital piece. Depends on what angle they come at you with. If their back is to you, you stab them in the back. If you get disarmed, this is your last resort. But that's why I teach you to use your feet as well. Most of these brutes who swing swords wear chainmail and plate armor barely have any good footwork beyond just stepping around. They'll hardly wait for you to bring your kickers up, get them right in the jaw if you have to. No, I can't teach you how to fight monsters, but men, men are predictable. Always. Now, now another good stance is like this. Rotate around your enemy. Softly step and always keep a foot at the ready. One foot planted, one ready to re lean back on if you have to, because sometimes they'll lunge at you. You guide their blade, kick, stab if you have to. 
I advise you both put your own little bit of style or special uh, treatment to the style. It is hard to learn, even harder to practice, but I think you both can learn pretty fast. You're both light. Quick on your feet. This style is mostly preferable for those who work at the dock. My entire life has been devoted to that kind of fighting. That's how I operate. The moon comes out, and that is when I'm at my best. My blade has been inscribed with the very words my entire life. Until dusk, we die by sunlight. Until dawn, we bask in the moonlight. Meaning, when the sun is out, we'll die. At least, possibly. But at night, at night, we rest easy. <clears throat> Because they won't see you, but you'll see them. I wear these cloaks all the time because it makes it harder to see me. I may be paler than the snow around you, but that's for a good reason. Anyhow. You'd make a good drow. For someone who's unsuspecting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's natural for you. Mm -hmm. You thrive in the dark. <clears throat> your greatest friend. Mm -hmm. No, for someone who cannot see you. The vitals are the most important thing. I prefer to stab with my dagger if I'm approaching someone from behind because it's easier to protect yourself if they retaliate fast enough with the longer blade. Why do both to guard at every angle they decide to retaliate? You stab a man in the back most of the time, they won't retaliate. They're done. But sometimes they do. Sometimes the bigger men orcs even they're not done with you until they say they're done <clears throat> you stab them in the back swing either you dodge or you bring your blade up to strike it parry it with all your might swing back at it if you have to throw off that momentum because if you do that you either cut off a limb or get them right through the throat if you can but either way don't let the unsuspected get the better of you. You will have the upper hand, but there's not guaranteed death. It only guarantees you can harm them. Those servants of Ash are certainly the most, well, ambitious type. They don't seem to die unless they are actually dead. Say or no say. Let me think. What else? Ah. This fighting style calls for a few things. Footwork is most important. You must be light on your feet. Sometimes, I even ride on my very own tippy toes. But, that is only because I wish to be quiet. You find all these men played armor, have the loudest footsteps. Now, you may be thinking, oh, when you're sneaking up, that's obvious. I'm talking about in face-to-face -face combat. Give them less things to look at, or think about, and they won't focus it at all. Your full work is a great indicator where your next move may be. They look for body language, even the greatest warriors will tell you. Body language is what you look for the most. Their eyes, their feet, their hands. Tell me, what does this stance tell you I'm about to do? <clears throat> what does it tell you? Probably going to lunge with your dagger. After a parry. Yes, or... Yes, or I'm going to use it in some sort of faction. Like mm. I'm expecting him to attack. That is when you do not strike. That is when you pretend to do so. Mm. Playing dirty or without honor is... Well, it's rudimentary. Honor is for knights and sheep. I prefer to trick the enemy if I can. Pretend to swing, they bring up their blade, go underneath, or figure out a way to disarm them. Skittish folk are all over the place. You'll find guards who are ill-equipped, no experience. They're all shiny little plate-wearing peasants. Now for these soldiers, they're resolute. They will expect everything. So you have to outsmart them the best you can. 
That means fake kick strikes, thrusting with a dagger when they least expect it, or even kicking them from out of the feet. Even the biggest man in the heaviest armor can be pushed over with your footwork. If you're faster than them, you have all the advantages. But as long as you focus, they're dead. Most big brutish men with great war hammers can kill any small roguish man because the roguish man gets cocky, greedy. It's like, hey, I could cut off his arm if I go strike right now. But you have to think, maybe he's expecting that. The very first thing you think about doing, don't do it. Go for something else. Because he might be thinking that far ahead. They may be big, they may be strong, but they can be smart sometimes. <laughs> now, what I want you to do is practice on your footwork and using your feet to strike as well as parry. Pretend someone's coming at you. Do everything I just told you. Practice with it. Parry and strike. Or thrust, thrust, kick, slash. It takes a lot of practice. But you'll get there in a bit. I don't know how to use a blunt weapon such as a hammer, but I could definitely use this blade. Now, if you think about weaknesses, most men you'll encounter are far more equipped with armor than you would be. Some of men wearing padded or studded leather have their joints exposed. That's when you cut, sever tendons, strike arteries even. It will make it harder for them to retaliate if they're covered in blood and striking with almost weak arms. Cut to the knee. Immobilize. This is Kyla's fighting. He's describing how Kyla fights. He's, he's good. He's good at it. many different ways you can operate against an enemy who has very little wiggle room. Almost definitely in an enclosed space, you're out of your league. Man with a shield or a sword, mace, whatever he has in his primary hand. If he has you down a hallway where you can't get around him, that's not a fight you can win. That's a fight you back off from. But if you can get around an enemy, an open area like this, you could have quite a few advantages. Like I said, you're fast, you're lighter. You will never see a man wearing full plate armor using a dagger and a sword. And that very reason is, he's not fast enough to use that dagger. The armor weighs him down. <laughs> There's a goose carrying a weapon. What the? How do we deal with a goose with a weapon? It's ready for you fun. don't. That's also a situation you cannot win. <sighs> you run. You yes, are. <laughs> Damn it. It's one of those unknowns you just can't plan for, unfortunately. Let me hope. So tell me, you're in, a, you're in a room, a wide room, with a man with only a sword. He seems to be semi-focused on thrusting his blade every so often, because he's trying to catch you off balance. How do you approach him? Parry and strike. Hmm. What's the other uh, answer to that? I can't parry, uh, get around him somehow. And if he's focused on you, you could parry in both options. Right. There are very many ways to solve this issue. However, while you can parry and strike him, you could also parry 
and use these. Right. Parry. A close sweep his legs. Then he's down on your level. Well, he's trying to catch you off guard. Maybe he's not focusing on his own balance. Right. He puts all that weight through that thrust. He's more like... And he's only on one leg, over. and you can sweep his leg. Oh my god, you're right. His wrist is also exposed. Okay. Indeed. You can cut his arm off if you mm -hmm. want to. Stab his he hand. Have Either one. Gauntlet, that is, yeah. Now. Spears, halberds, pole axes. Long reaching weapons are our kind of bane. We may be fast, but they have reach and versatility. Some of them may be slow, they'll be clad in full armor, some aren't. I've met many mercenaries who'll be walking around with a pole axe and full leather gear because they could be swift and decisive, all within a matter of seconds. Then I'll meet men. Like my uncle, who wears full plate armor, who wears a pole axe. He can take blows, but he knows after he takes those blows, that person's as good as dead because he can retaliate while he's being harmed. But there is a way around them. While it is difficult, the best way to deal with someone with a reaching weapon, like a spear or a pole axe, even a uh, halberd or. Mm. Anything really that reach. You have to rely on the fact that they have trouble guarding with such a weapon. Like a berish, for example, or a barish, rather. It has a long blade on it that wraps around one side. Make a block with that. But the problem with such a reaching weapon is it requires two hands. And with such a long pull on a weapon, it's hardly good at blocking metal, not for very long. I reckon if you have sharp enough blades throwing off metal, you can cut right through that blade. Or that pull, I mean. Strike right through it, or don't even try to strike it. Strike past it. But here's where most of them will get you. Most of those men who use pole axes will block you with both hands. Mr. Aegon. Uh, yes. You didn't happen to get it finished yet, did you? Almost done. Giving them a lesson first. This for a while, yeah. Okay, mm. okay, okay. Uh, just, uh... As soon as you can. Uh, yeah, I handed my, uh, Bits and pieces off to him to repair. Mm, I see. Okay, okay cut off his bits and pieces. By nightfall. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that Family explains my... Um, uh, that explains why my voice is getting higher. <laughs> Yeah. I'm so well. sorry you have to deal with this bits and pieces like that. <laughs> it's very tragic. It's my job, unfortunately. Maybe next <laughs> time when I skip towns, I'll become a, a delivery boy instead. Anyhow. <laughs> most of the time when someone has a pole axe and they block with the pole themselves, they'll try to misdirect it. Once again. You'll wield it. He can only block one weapon if only one weapon's coming at him. If you use both, he's li he's likely to block both. But while he misdirects one weapon, first with the other, though some they'll slide your weapon the other way and then try to thrust into your chest. Because they have a pike at the very end of that blade. Any tips on closing distance other than footwork? Hmm. That's yes. the killer for those long weapons, isn't it? It is. Closing the distance is very dangerous. Sometimes you have to wear out the enemy instead. Let them get a little sloppy and then go in. But if time is an issue, one weakness that most of those spheres of axes have is that they have guards, correct? But it doesn't really anticipate for you getting behind the guard with your blade. Most who try to disarm people like that, if they don't have a grip at a very great value, get behind those guards with your main blade. Try to tug it out of the way. If that doesn't work, pull, yank that blade and thrust with the other into their necks. But close the distance. The blade. It's mostly and then close the distance. Yes. Guide it. 
Gigio blade underneath that god, slide up the pole to that god, yank it, and then thrust if you can. Right. That's how I get it done. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Aegon. I... <clears throat> oh, cool. Very helpful. No. Very helpful. Thank you. That'll be it then. I feel like you and I would have gone along. I wish you could. We grew up together. <laughs> Maybe. But I was a blacksmith growing up, not a leather worker or a mercenary. Hmm. <laughs> Quite the history. Yeah. I'll keep you any yeah, longer. I know you have work to do. Uh, thank you for training us. It helped a lot. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Especially coming from Maybe. someone of a similar. Build. Well, it served me very well for years. It may it serve you for just as long, if not longer. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck with Cade's bits and pieces. Very well. I will have to wash my hands. Definitely. Well, that was very productive. Shit. Well, just reaffirming everything I knew. But it's nice to know other people see that as a valid fighting style. Fair enough, yeah. Like I said, I've only been really trained by knights and such, so it was cool to be trained by someone who... <clears throat> well. What I was trying to say I when I kind of style. was training you earlier. You put it a lot better, yeah, though. I remember that. <clears throat> I just kind of felt my way through things. He obviously has a lot of thought behind it. Fair enough. Well, clearly it's gotten you somewhere. Thought <sighs> Coming to survive, I suppose. <laughs> yes. That's what any of us can do. <laughs> survive. <sighs> Should be a lot easier now that you know how to. What are you up to now? Uh, I don't know. I don't have anything That's planned. Right. Hmm. Still want. To uh, talk about things? Or did that help clear your mind? Help distract me for a while. <laughs> I could tell. I'm glad. What's right, that? that's uh. <sighs> Just something. Decided to get made keep with me I don't know why if anything it helps remind me uh to live huh. but I don't know what to do with it now I haven't what's, decided what's the significance something apparently Tarek was going to give to me never got made so I finished it he was going to give you a ring? Still don't know what to think about that, either. Supposedly, the merchant said that he was trying to pay off a ruby. And that, um, he was going to... melt down his sword to make a band. Couldn't have him do that, obviously. I mean... I like this sword, so... I had a bronze figurine that I got off a bandit a while ago. Had that made into a band. Just, uh... I don't know, seem surprised you ended up with his sword. Mm. It's a good <clears throat> sword. Can't let that go to waste. Still thinks you hate him. I don't know what to think. I. I don't know what to think at all. Is everything all right? I fear not. You two, I want you to. Do, I want you two to do me a favor. Anyone that you see coughing, stay away from. I have a feeling of, of fear and dread that Shroomlung has come back within Ledford grounds. There's already a few infected with the same symptoms from weeks ago. Great. As if things couldn't get any worse. I know. Thank We're you, Sonny. to prevent that. <sighs> I guess we should isolate then, huh?
Um. Back on house? I don't know. If you want. Is there a better place you could think of? Could uh get on the palisade and watch. You can go for a walk. Okay. Like I said, I have no plans. Well, that's what you said. That's in you. I did. Lead the way. <clears throat> have you spoken to him? All right, then. Not yet. Besides, um, well, as we were saving him, hardly said a few words to him. I don't know what to say. Did he say anything? Took me a while to even realize it. Yeah, he was surprised, confused. It's fair. I was the same. Rightfully so. We all assumed he was dead. Right. I believe the militia are currently taking up arms in the uh, fort. Mm. I like that fort. Too bad it's filled. <laughs> How do you say that? Oh, I like it. It was nice when it was empty being built. Good view. Like... Yeah. Exactly. <sighs> Might still be empty. At least uh -oh. the towers. What do you suppose? I'm gonna have a look. Nice to watch everyone walk by. It is. The cat. Did you hear from Salma about that? Yes. Uh, okay. Right. We're uh, isolating. I guess. Yes, I try to warn everybody in here about it as well. Thank you. Um. Hard to tell if there's anyone up there. Let me have a look. Right. Nope. <clears throat> Free for us. I hate letters. They should do. really be a toggle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking dumbass with my controller, I think. Huh. What are you thinking? What's been troubling you? <sighs> I don't know. Things are just kind of all over the place right now, aren't they? Yeah. Chaotic and scary and it's like we know exactly what's coming but at the same time it's all unknown and I don't even know what to do. How many moving parts? Like we said, uh, yeah. I'm not a strategist. Hmm. Just point my sword where Arn tells me to point it. He seems to know what's best. <laughs> exactly. This is why I brought Herrick home. Is that his choice? He was holding Tarek, and he said, Take him, I need my sword arm. And he said to get out of here. I, I suppose that's what he meant. I don't know, it's so hard to tell. Um... Well, if you had the choice, what would you have done? I don't know. I mean, I stand by my original decision. I don't think he should die. I don't think that's fair. I don't think it's right. He doesn't deserve to die. But, uh... I don't know, I... I 
special tone, I don't know what to think. <laughs> I'm sure your feelings will settle eventually. Right. And you'll know what to do. You'll know how you feel. Right. I'll keep the same person I was before. I don't even know. I don't even know if he'll recognize recognize me. I haven't <clears throat> spoken to him. I... I don't even know what to say. You're not that different, Kat. <laughs> You're hardened. Uh. You're still you. For better or for worse. The better for work. <laughs> <sighs> things have changed. Season's grown colder. A lot of things have gotten colder. Alright, let's see what goes on up here. Yeah. We're keeping watch. Ah! We Not to worry. Should uh fucking scare the sh don't come up here because there's supposedly oh, shroom lung again. Me. We don't want to spread the infection. Yeah, we don't want to spread the infection. We're isolating. <gasps> okay! Stay away. Oh, shit. I ate it. I don't want to sit in front of it. <laughs> I don't want to put my head in front of it because I have a really big head and it is clear. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, when you figure out how you feel, let me know, okay? Alright. Enough about me. Are you alright? You seem... off. I have a lot of mixed emotions. You know I struggle with understanding emotions, Kat. And having as many as I do right now, I... It's weird. I'm... Feeling a lot. I'm feeling... Happiness. Feeling worry, I'm, I'm feeling stressed, I'm anxious, I'm... Feeling things I wish I wasn't feeling. I... I don't know. It's a lot going on, and I'm just kind of waiting for the dust to settle, I guess. I understand. Same. Still an A-god of all people. I don't know why. Because he asked, I suppose. First person to ask. He asked me how I was feeling. And, uh... Asked? Fuck you. Him. You did, I but he asked ask. first, so... What do you mean? You do always ask. I think you did, oh. That's because I care, Kat. It was just a... It was a stranger, it was just... I hate you get it. To, but... Yeah. I'm glad you do care, though. It means a lot. I care as well. Which is why I ask. Even though you always say, oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it does. <laughs> to me, at least. It doesn't change much. We just have to keep pushing forward, regardless of how we feel, right? True. However, if we keep pushing forward and never acknowledge how we feel, then... Our emotions are still stuck in the past. They never get to move forward. They never get to get figured out. They get balled up until you've moved so far forward that the emotions just explode. Do you? That's never any good. Do you know me, Cap? Living uh, in the past is kind of my thing. So. Uh, yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's true, of course you're... Consistent? You're very consistent, yeah. You know what? You're right. Fuck. <laughs> well, at least you're, uh... <laughs> easy to read. Am I? I think you are. I might have to switch Maybe things up then. How you think. How you work. God, don't get hot on me now. Explain. <laughs> Finally figured you out. Out? Okay. Fi <laughs> you figured me out. Go on. Well, I've tried to at least. I at least understand, you know, when you're upset. You know, I can tell. You're by chance any spears up there, is there? Negative. None. Okay. People just fucking walked off and left all their spears around the place. Yeah. It's like they're an untrained militia. First they get loaned them. Fucking just throw them over. God damn. Go on, cat. Fucking peasants. Fucking peasants. Anyways. <laughs> An ivory tower. Staring down below. <laughs> Anyways, um, you're. When something is troubling you, you always get short and. Um, I don't know. You don't have a lot to say. And then when asked, you say it doesn't matter. Uh, I probably shouldn't even be telling you any of this because now you're going to want to change because of... Um, I don't know, you... You care even though it doesn't seem like you do. You instinctively reach out for others and... You say you're... Hardened. And you are, but you have heart too. You care a lot. Definitely a theory. <laughs> what did I get it wrong? Maybe you are the cold, unfeeling Kyla. You always say you are. <laughs> the icy hair. Just staring with this brooding attitude. Put up. <laughs> Which would you Is prefer? Is that right then? <laughs> Definitely prefer the heart. That's you. That's the real Kyla. That's my opinion, though. <sighs> I feel like this is the last time we're gonna see this place so calm. I felt that a few times. Mm. Feels so quiet, like like how the air gets still right before a snowstorm. Yeah, never been in a snowstorm, but I think I know what you mean. Mm. I'm scared, Kyla. You're scared. I don't want to lose anyone. Me neither. But you already know that. <laughs> yeah, I do. I told you to survive and run away from here. Still stand by it, but I know I can't be a hypocrite and tell you to do one thing and not do not do it. <sighs> I'm gonna stay and fight. Not for Ledford. 
to try to save the people who live in it. The people I care about. I don't think we can beat the Empire. It's not possible. But if we're able to hold out long enough until reinforcements come, then we can get the rest of the townsfolk evacuated. To where? Ow. Very noble thing, Cat, but... that like Lord Gavis. Who is that? Who is that? Lord Gavis. It's the king. What is he doing? Is that the king? What is he doing out? What the hell? Probably just inspecting everything. Lord Gavis and the king and the royal guard. Fucking procession. They're opening the gate. Uh, They're going out. Does the king have a weapon and a shield? Uh, does he? Oh my god, they're armed. Oh fuck. Well, this isn't our fight, I guess. He's got plans. I mean, that's right, of course. I'm just. Holy shit. They're leading an army out. Likely to go meet the. Empire that's coming. Holy shit. My God. Feels surreal. Okay, whether it's actually happening. Maybe they're just patrolling around. With the king. <laughs> mm. Maybe he's oh. evacuating. Actually. He might be returning to Adwick. I wonder, maybe. Maybe. I'll see if Gavis follows him. Yeah. That would make sense. Since this place is being used as bait, wouldn't want the king to be here. In the line of fire. He'd probably be the person bringing in the re reinforcements. Shit. And again, what's better bait than the king? I would guarantee that they stay here attacking. True. Regardless, they have to get through Ledford to get to the rest of Ireland. Maybe they don't. One thing I failed to mention. The border town, they, uh... They had some mines, but... The mines weren't... Their main priority. They had them shut down, and originally my thought was that maybe there was an archway down, down there. Found out that, that was just where they kept the... Dead guards. They might be focusing on Ledford because of the potential archway underneath. Maybe they have the same thought we do. They get a hold of that archway. They have an archway within Ireland. And then they can bring however many armies they want straight into the border. That would be the point. They'd bypass the uh, Craglands, which is Ireland's main defense from the east. Exactly.
Are you going to stay? I mean, I suppose it's hard to really have a way to run. I've been but trying to think of an exit strategy. Trying to stay. I don't blame you. I don't know. King is leaving, Gavis is staying. That makes sense then. Alright. He's probably returning to that wick. 